Okay, so now that we're, as you can see, inside of Maya here, and we have all of our geometry basically broken down in Photoshop, we're going to go ahead and basically model the uh, body of the iPhone here. So, <clears throat> as I said in the previous lesson, you can either use a polygon plane or even a polygon cylinder to go ahead and do that. But what I honestly feel is our best bet to, to go ahead and make these corners on the iPhone is the polygon pipe. And this is going to give us a, a very nice layout in terms of being able to create our base. So let's go ahead and click on our polygon pipe and we're going to go ahead and drag this out. And the size right off the bat it doesn't necessarily matter because we're just going to go ahead and scale it down anyway. So now that we have that drawn out you can see here where we have a very decent um, portion and layout to go ahead and create the actual corners of our iPhone. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we have enough resolution inside of one quarter here to be able to have a decent layout for the iPhone base. And originally when you draw it out it comes out at what is 20 on the subdivision axis. And that might be a little bit too much and so I want to go ahead and drop this down to something say say like 16 and then that's going to give us enough resolution and not too much resolution to be able to actually make the corner of our iPhone model there. So we need to delete the excess off of that polygon pipe so I'm just going to go ahead and maximize the perspective window there by just you know moving the mouse over and hitting the spacebar to maximize that and I'm going to go ahead and just right click and hit face and I'm going to be deleting a lot of these off so I'm just selecting what I don't need and hitting delete and then I'm going to delete one half and one quarter so that's one too many there and we'll just go ahead and delete those and as you can see we simply just have what would be the right corner of our iPhone here okay so I'm going to go ahead and select go into the, the vertices select mode, I'm going to select all of these scale them down, basically move it into position here and I'm just going to try to shape this properly being mindful that I have everything sort of evened out here and as you can see here this is gonna match somewhat well. I may have to add a little bit extra resolution here. And you can see right away where that shape is um, fairly good. But for the most part here this matches well except for you know maybe this face here and this face here. So I'm gonna have to add two more edges and this is just simply the uh, the edge loop tool which is under the edit mesh menu and insert edge loop tool okay so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and I'm gonna add an edge loop right in the middle there and also right in the middle here and I'm just gonna go ahead and back into vertices select mode and move these over and grab these two and move these up and now you can see where that shape is a little bit more refined and it's gonna match a lot better so I now need to go ahead and move these back into position here just trying to match the the underlying concept as much as we can here and now I need to basically go ahead and select an edge here and I'm going to go ahead and extrude this over which is simply under our edit mesh extrude but I simply just made it a, a shelf button for myself so I'm just going to go ahead and extrude this all the way over to the middle and now I'm going to go ahead and start bringing this shape down so I'm going to go ahead and select that edge, that edge, that edge, that edge, and that edge. And I'll go ahead and 
just simply extrude that down and then I'm going to take the scale tool making sure that those are completely even pull that down to try and match the other one here and that looks okay and I'm also going to add another edge loop here so that we can merge these together just using the skill tool to even these out as well go ahead and pull this down and we'll simply just go ahead and select these two verts and we're going to merge them which is also under the edit mesh menu as you can see right here and we'll go ahead and merge these other two and you can see where we have a very decent quad layout already and it's completely flat and now we just need to make sure that our vertices here are all even and in the same sort of straight line here I just have to adjust these verts over just a little bit here and then I'm going to take these edges here on the bottom making sure that I don't select any other ones and I'm going to go ahead and extrude these down so that we now have one quarter of the iPhone completely modeled and it looks like I went over too f just a little bit too far there so I have to move those back to the middle and now that we have what would be our face of our iPhone or one quarter of the face of our iPhone model we can simply just go ahead and clear the history, freeze the transformations and center the pivot there and we're going to go ahead and start mirroring our geometry and the first thing that we need to do is we need to make it in the in the negative x direction so we'll just hit, hit apply and then we need to make it in the negative y direction and as you can see there and then we just need to basically make it in the negative z direction but before we make it in the negative z direction we need to extrude the the actual edge of the model so that we can have a little bit of thickness on it here so we're going to go ahead and select that um, border edge of our model go ahead and hit our extrude tool go back into our side window here and I'm going to go ahead and grab our move tool move it to half of our model just make sure that everything's even and lined up and go ahead and reselect it and apply it and there you can see is the base of our iPhone model.